Hey everybody, it's Darren back here on the D-Law Fishing Channel. Today I am going to show you how to install uh, a carpet graphic on your bass boat. I recently re-carpeted my boat and I've got a couple graphics on. I got another one that I'm going to put on today. And I figured I'd just do a quick little how-to on how to install your carpet graphics. Today we're going to install, I'll show you, um, we're going to install this uh, Bass Anonymous carpet decal, but we're going to install it back here in the back. I'm probably going to put it right here. Need to decide if I'm going to do it like that or if I'm going to flip it around like this. Um, but I believe I'm going to do it just like this. Let's get the tools that I'm going to need. First, I've got some tape. You're gonna need some masking tape that will tape to the carpet temporarily. Uh, I'm gonna need a tape measure. And I'm gonna need a pair of scissors. So there you have it. I may use a razor blade instead of scissors. So when I installed this, these two carpet graphics, um, I used the razor blade, it worked fine. We'll try the scissors today. If, if those don't do good, then I will switch it up and I'll do it with the, the razor blade. Okay, I'm gonna get the camera set up so you can see what we're doing. And then I'm going to um, install this for you. Again, I, this carpet is brand new and yeah it needs to be decorated so that's the spot right there it's gonna make it look good all right so the first thing i got to do is i got to get my measurements right in this case i want to center my logo with the middle of this exactly in the middle of this so to do that i need to measure Okay, so the first thing I need to measure is how wide is my logo. And anyway, the answer is 22 inches. I already knew that because I, that's how big I made it. So 22 inches, 11 inches. Um, Okay, so that's the middle of my logo, right there. Okay, now I want to get it halfway between here and here. So I'm going to measure that. It's basically 21 and a half inches. So 11 and a half inches should be the middle. Now I have to decide where the middle of my logo is, which I'm going to go with right there is the middle okay another way to do it is to measure to the middle over here and measure to the middle over here. All right, we pretty much nailed it right there. Okay, so once you have your, um, your logo right where you want it, you're gonna take two pieces of tape. You're gonna put a piece of tape here and a piece of tape there to hold it in place and also be a temporary marker so that you can line it up when you're done. Okay, so very carefully put your tape down without moving your graphic. Okay. 
Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a hinge in the middle. We're gonna take two long pieces of tape that are gonna make our hinge. There we go, two pieces of tape. Now, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our razor blade Make sure our tape is secure all the way around. Double check, make sure you like where it is. All right, it looks perfect. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually cut this tape right here. Okay, but don't take it off the carpet. Leave it on the carpet and leave it on your sign. Okay, so. Now what we're going to do is we're going to peel the carpet graphic back. Okay. Actually, I'm going to do it with this because it's handy and I'm holding this decal here. I'm going to go ahead and cut the paper without cutting your, your carpet. Okay. And get that out of the way. And now we're going to place our carpet graphic. On the carpet, we're going to line our tape up right here. Okay, and then we're going to press the adhesive into the carpet. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to cut our tape without cutting the carpet. Leave the tape on. Okay. At this point, you can actually take your hinge off. Okay, you don't need your hinge anymore because you've got some of your graphic stuck to the carpet. Now we're gonna pull this back. Get rid of your paper. And then bring this back and line it up first with your tape like that and then pat your graphic okay all right so we're not done yet but we've got the graphic put to the carpet Okay, so we're going to take our tape off. We got our graphic where we want it. And now we're going to really like push this down. We're going to rub it all over, really get it stuck to the carpet good. Okay. Okay, then we're actually going to walk on it to really get it pressed in. All right, and now what we're going to do is take our fingers and we're gonna go around, we're gonna rub all of the edges really good. We don't want the edges to ever, ever, ever come up. There you go. And I'm going to walk under it a little bit more. Okay. 
Yeah. There you have it. That's how you do it. Carpet graphics make your boat look great. If you're interested in a Bass Anonymous carpet graphic, you can message me, you can comment uh, in the comments and I will get back to you. But uh, anyway, I really, really like this carpet graphic. It looks great, not very hard to install and can't wait to see it out on the water. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of D-Law Fishing. Um, another little how-to video. Um, I'm excited to get out and see my graphic out in the sun. Thanks for watching.